A scattered unit. The acolyte Frank has been taken prisoner by the outlaws. I have the coordinates for his unit. Maybe they will help me. F well, they will help to free him. Is that the one? You're yeah, right. That's the one. That's the one guy that's just like. He's like a prisoner, and they t I think he talks about having a bomb in his body or something. It's just like it's. Huh. Huh. The quest came almost out of nowhere. I'm like, oh yeah, a quest, here. Angry at Conrad's betrayal, uh, Logan, the Duke of Tavar, wants the traitor dead. Logan's furious that Conrad tricked him with his plans with the Big Bang. Okay. Don't care. Why is this... Why are these main missions? Are you saying that it's now mandatory for me to kill... To kill Conrad? What? Why is this part of Zardom's battle plan? Am I required to kill Conrad to continue the story? That's not a, is that is that not a choice? All right, well, before I beat a man to death in the middle of the city in public, let's go visit Zardom again. And let's just see if for some reason the bomb progressed the story, even though this quest is listed as being under his quest in the exact same way the bomb was. But like, why would Zardom refuse to move forward with the plan until I kill this man? This like one random cleric? The Duke of Tavar's bomb was really a fighting machine. He developed it with a cleric prisoner with the aim of attacking the Horde in Ignadon. Developed? Does that mean the danger is now gone? Yes. Good, then we have one less threat to worry about. You have done good work, Commander. You have assisted our cause greatly. But the hybrid must have realized by now that there is a new threat that he must consider. He used to be preoccupied by the mages in Edan. Do you have any idea why he feared them? I was hoping you could tell me, Jax. He tasked you with finding the pilgrim Thorold. Did you learn anything that could explain the hybrid's fear? I didn't complete my mission. I was shot down before I could reach the Pilgrim. And it seems that the hybrid has not succeeded in completing this mission since then. He still hasn't found the Pilgrim, even though he seems to feel that the Berserkers transmuting Elix is the biggest threat to Zekor. If the hybrid's so dangerous, how did he end up in charge of the Alps? Uh, doesn't that, isn't it by being dangerous? I feel like that's a self-answering question a little bit there. Perhaps the hybrid is right that the free people are the true threat. Are you still to be convinced that the hybrid must be stopped? What proof is needed to open your eyes to the danger of Zaykor? Whatever the future holds, I am certain that Thorold is the key. His knowledge could mean victory or defeat in this war. I think that Thorold is seeking a way to change Elix without the need to take it to that shrine in Goliath. And if he can achieve that, then the hybrid risks losing vast amounts of Elix. Yes, and after all, the hybrid is demanding all the Elix in Magellan. Imagine the effect on him if the Berserkers were to take huge quantities of it, turning it into mana before he can consume it. The hybrid could never allow that. It would destroy his plans, and it would empower the Berserkers. While the Albs lose power, they would gain. It's easy to imagine what they would do with our people then. The Ice Palace would fall, and the Albs would be exterminated. We cannot allow that. The Berserkers would never commit genocide. After the acts of slaughter the Albs have done to their people, why would they not take their revenge? You must finish your old mission and secure Thorold's knowledge. The fate of us all depends on it. You keep saying it all depends on me, but what about you? Where is your support? What are you doing to stop the hybrid? If you want my help, you must prove your side of things to me. I want to see this force you're talking about. As you wish. You should know who you are dealing with. Mutants. 
All that remains are the creatures that once lived in the old world. He makes my strength to those with the will to tame me. He makes a slave of all others. So I pray that he has saved us all. He has retained his power to control the creatures. He can force these creatures to do his bidding. I know we will have a happy result in his heart. But he's right. Wow. <laughs> so that's your force. So, you see, I might not command my soldiers any longer, but I do have a force to be reckoned with. Now, you must play your part and discover the purpose of Thorold's research. Wow. A plus sound mixing right there. I'm glad that you guys decided to, in one of the most important cutscenes in the entire game that explains where I'm supposed to go and what's going on, and it's also one of the only chapter transitions that has an- it's literally like the chapter 3 screen in a game that has like- I'm like 70 plus episodes in and I just hit chapter 3. That's how like rare those chapter transitions are, and it's a big long monologue about what's gonna happen next, and all you can hear is 500 growling creatures because you didn't think to disable their voices or downmix them or- do anything? It's like, did you watch that cutscene? You had to have seen that cutscene and known that it was a mess, right? Or did they just not check? Because between that and the flamethrower and a bunch of other things, I'm like, did they just not test these things or look at them after they made them to see if they worked the way they thought they would? Or they just ah, eh, screw it. Because it's it's just so it's just really haphazard. And like the first thing you want to blame, like you, the first excuse that comes to mind is like, oh, it's the, like a 25 man team or something. So they go, like, yeah, it's easy. They're a tiny team. Uh, they missed it, obviously, because they just don't have the resources. That's one thing if it's like a weird, obscure island where a quest glitches out for once. Like that one time in Witcher 3 where there's a quest that just isn't incompletable because the wolf like falls to the floor <laughs> and you just can't complete that particular uh, werewolf quest, which is really unfortunate because it's kind of a cool storyline. That is kind of uh, calling out Geralt and how he, how he treats monsters and stuff like that. Like, that's a cool moment in that game. And it's undercut by the fact that it doesn't work 100% of the time. And I'm like, oh no. Like, I get it. Eventually something might go wrong in a game. This is the main story. This is mandatory content. This is the chapter transition in a game that has, like, I think four chapters. How? Also, I want to point out this issue. Wow, it's just changing categories. So Death of a Genius used to be a subcategory under Zardom's battle plans. And the only indication I had that Big Bang was mandatory was that it was under Zardom's battle plans. But Death of a Genius was also under Zardom's battle plans, which would indicate that it's also mandatory to continue. But I chose to test it out anyway and see if I can come back here and continue even though I haven't done it. And... Then it gets reclassified as being another main mission, but separate from his. First of all, why is it even listed as a main mission? Is it not optional to kill Logan? Uh, uh, I mean, Conrad? But also, why was it listed as... Why was killing Conrad for Logan listed as being a mandatory quest for Zardom? Like, what? What? The... the what? Like, the nothing about the categorization system here makes sense. It's really frustrating. How did you get the mutants to follow you? I retained control of them when I left Secor. As long as they get the elix they crave, then they will follow the orders sent to their chips. I know where to find that elix, and I know how to command. They will obey me when the day comes to fight. Teach me how to control the mutants. No, you have your job and I have mine. Focus on the task you've been given. What is it that you want, Zardom? Do you want to lead the Albs when the hybrid is defeated? This is not just a war against the hybrid. The Alexiters are his disciples. Once the hybrid is gone, we must see what the Alexiters do. And if they remain loyal to the hybrid, 
then they must pay the consequences for that decision. So you want the Alexiters dead too? If that is the only way to save our people. And who will lead the Alms with the hybrid and the Alexiters gone? We will only know that in good time. When we see who survives the war to come. You are avoiding the question. And you are wasting our time, Jax. What matters now is removing the hybrid. All other questions can be answered after that. Until you complete your tasks and the hybrid is defeated, what do such questions matter? That is what we shall discover, Zardom. What should I do once I know Thorold's plans? First, we shall have to learn them. Then we will see how we can use that knowledge against the hybrid. I want to know why the hybrid fears transmuted Elix. What effect do you think it would have on him if he was to consume it? I don't know. But we would have to get close to the hybrid to be able to make him do that. You should face the hybrid. It is time to finish this. Wow, that's... Wow, that's very, like, end of the game, final kind of comment for him to say, isn't it? Uh, okay. So this is actually a fun little moment to poke fun at Mass Effect Andromeda again, funnily enough. Because it, it reminds me specifically of the kind of quality assurance that the team that made Mass Effect Andromeda made. Because the people who made Mass Effect Andromeda were the team that used to make the DLC for some of the older Mass Effect games. Uh, in particular, they were known for making the worst, one of the worst DLCs ever, uh, Omega. Which was just the worst. It was really unfortunate because they had, they, like... The main character of Omega is voiced by the actress that played Trinity in The Matrix. So it's like, oh, wow, they got her in here and it's going to have a whole DLC about her. And there's like a, our first female Turian and we're going to go around and fight people in Omega. And it's, it's just like two or three hours straight of just shooting people in hallways and it's boring as fuck. Uh, but my most amazing part for me was that, uh, first of all, the actress that played Trinity, is it Carrie Ann Moss? Is that the right name? I'm not sure. Uh... Like, she does not nail the monologue. She's, like, yelling. And they're like, it's time to take Omega back! And, like, she's yelling, and her, like, voice kind of sounds weak. Like, she didn't nail it, and she, they should have done another take, but they just didn't bother. But the reason I bring it up more than anything is the fact that during that cutscene, all the characters would start spinning in place. They would spin. Like, they're, we're, in the, we're in the middle of the most pivotal scene of the entire DLC. And it's all been around this one scene. It's the inspirational quote scene. It's cutting from location to location. Look at all these different people. And all over the place, those people are spinning. And I'm like, what is happening? The main characters spin. The audience spins. People just keep spinning. And I'm like, what is happening? It happened on the Xbox 360. When I came back, like, uh, like five plus years later for my series on this channel, I played it that many years later on Xbox One. And even then, they were still spinning in the most important scene of the entire game. And I'm like, how how did you not catch this and how did you not patch this? It's like, it's a, it's a, it's a fun little thing to poke at because like I, it's, I'm baffled by this game doing that, having a weird cutscene that should have clearly been addressed in some way, but freaking <laughs> Bioware and EA. <laughs> they couldn't do it. <laughs> they they had just as bad of QA. The reason why I was talking and standing still without going here immediately is because I, I, I'm trying to test if they might have new quests for me because it's a new chapter and they're gonna, they'd be interrupting me mid-sentence if they sprint up and it automatically start dialogue with me. So I'm going to go over like we usually do and craft some Elex potions because apparently I've... Commander, oh. My assessment is that this will assist your mission. Yes, thanks, you four. Follow me. Cool, he wasn't even following me, but hey. He just showed up, just like that. Handy. We've heard a horde of mutants is approaching the border to Zaycor. How many? I don't know, but there's at least two Cyclopses with them. Someone in Zaycor wants to secure the West. Mutants aren't an organized force. They're just a pack of dogs to unleash. It might just be them disrupting the forces there, rather than invading. There. Yeah, well, if you insist on knowing what the Albs are planning, but this had better mean combat, not just a look-see. Ah, plan is going according to plan so far.
Well, it seems as if the rumors are true. Two Cyclopses, let's take them down. Wait a second. First, we should... No waiting! We're not out here to wait, we came to fight. Just get your ass moving and get on with it. Oops, not that broad. There we go. Done with you. Hey, new level. Neat. I'll take on the one upstairs. They're not aggroing, so this is pretty smooth so far. The, the game has declared you specifically qualify as being an enormous Cyclops. Ow. Ow. Gotcha. Ain't so tough. I'm getting more natural elex to craft with, too. Ow. He was not stunned by those hits. Ow. Thought I was going to roll out of that, and I did not. I'm going to run out of potions. Actual risk. Hey, can you guys aggro him a little bit? Well, it's a good thing I have a good weapon, because they don't. <laughs> there we go. And my allies are wholly ineffective in these fights, but thankfully, I only need them to distract for a bit. Alright, you can stop playing dead now. We're good to go. Oh, I was just here. <laughs> I think I was just here like a moment ago. I think I just opened that. Are you gonna get back up? Don't leave me hanging again, okay? Uh, I did all the work. Mutants, Cyclopses, they'll do for a start. But you promised Albalexiters. We'll get to them soon enough. Not soon enough for me. Let's kill these fuckers and go home. What are you doing rushing into combat like that? Are you trying to get us killed? I'm trying to get the job done. If you can't keep up, fuck off. I thought you were a fighter. I spend enough time just standing around in the fort. I took that place. I did. So show me another damn challenge and stop wasting my time. I'm not running around with you to take down a few creatures. Let's do something that makes a real fucking difference. You can get a challenge, but don't get us killed. You don't risk, you don't live. You don't live, you stagnate. You stagnate, you might as well be dead. Turn it up, live it fast, make it fucking count. Now are we done here or what? All right. I mean, no one should be surprised to find that she's a person of extremes. Follow me. Yeah. Now this is a place we can have some fun. I'm gonna have her come with me just because she seems like she's standing still and I don't want to lose track of her. So let's shepherd her back to town. There we go. And go back to origin. You should go. Yeah. There you go. We'll see if anyone else runs up on me while I'm while I'm here. Otherwise, I'm going to go craft some Elex potions, because I seem to have collected a bunch. Are you coming after me? Nope. How am I doing on liquor? 26 natural Elex. But do I have the liquor I need? The consumable, right? Not that kind. Food? Strong liquor. Not the same thing, though. Ignadon. Ah. We must go to Ignadon. Hi. You've sensed more Elix? Yeah, we should go there. Now, as soon as possible. Go where, Nygdodon? I'll find it when I'm close. I hope the differences between the free peoples won't mean we lose this war against the Alves. Let's take a look at the Elix deposit in Ignodon. Good. Good, thank you. Well, alrighty then, I guess. Plan's working out exactly how I hoped it would. Watch it, t watch it warm me to that one nightmare cave. Nope. Looks different. The crater. This is where the comet struck. Where Elix first appeared on Magellan. The impact sent it high into the atmosphere and spread it across the world. And today, the factions are gathering it back up. Well, there's still enough here for us to examine. We should begin. 
We know where we have to go. I'll follow you this time. It's somewhere up ahead of us. We're close now. She she just now wisened up to the idea that she should really be following me on these missions instead of awkwardly walking around. Is that a warp point? Do I have that one yet? Oh, bad guys. There's that voice again. Oh god. I need to figure out where I can buy those gems, because it's an upgrade system, I might as well use it, but I have no idea where to even buy gems. Because I certainly don't seem to be able to find them reliably. Okay, so no, it's just an Elex deposit. Here, it's not. It's here. Give me space and I'll see what I can find. Saw the glowy spots in the distance and thought they might be a teleport spot. Nope. There's natural elex around though, hell yeah. Add that to the pile. That is such a gulf in quality of pickup, by the way. All this, all, all this elex on the floor and every other random one is either elexit or natural elex, and that's it. One of those is such a spike of quality and the other one is like negligible pickup. It's kind of, it's kind of a funny back and forth to have. Who knew a game could have so much commoner jointing that actually looks like it actually gets like visually boring? <laughs> it's just everywhere. What happened? I think it's all right. It's it's all right. I'm back. I'm with you. Were you able to feel anything this time? Yes. The Elix is it is more than just energy. It has purpose. What are you talking about? The Elix was meant to change us. Meant to change our planet. It didn't come here by accident. Elix came here on the comet. I know, but I can feel it. It has purpose. It almost has reason. You think it's alive? I know. It sounds crazy, doesn't it? I'm still trying to understand it myself, but I'm sure that Elix was sent here to change things. I've never met anyone like you before. Is that a good thing? You don't lie or exaggerate. You just do. You can always be relied on. What? You mean I'm predictable? I should eliminate that. It will only assist my enemies. I'm not talking about our enemies. I'm talking about us. Oh, then I find you predictable as well. You mean you know me? That must feel strange. You were connected to the other Albs, then forced to be alone. Unconnected. I'm worried that might be why we get on so well, that you're just looking for something to replace that connection. But it feels like it's more than that, that you could have real emotions. Is that true? Please, tell me. Yes, it's true. Well, good. Them. How are you? I'm doing all right, thank you. About the side effects of Elix. Yeah? Here, I have some mana for you. Thank you. Sent here by who? I don't know. I can only tell you what I sensed from the Elix. But whatever Elix's purpose is, it isn't over. The power it must have taken to make this. And now we all depend on it for magic, for technology, for power? The whole planet is dependent on it. The Alps think Elix is the key to the next step in evolution. I know. I always assumed it was about magic or just an excuse for their belief that they were superior. But I think the Elix wants to change us. The question is, why? Can you figure this out? No, not yet anyway. Maybe with more study, I can learn more. But whatever purpose it has, the free people will be less able to resist it while they are divided into all these factions. We should go on. I won't learn any more here. Sounds like you've learned a lot. Question is, what does any of it mean? Do you think you could find out more from the Elix? Not right now. Getting close to it, inside what it is projecting, 
It would be easy to get swept away. I've learned more than I imagined I would. I almost wish I hadn't. Knowing what I know now, it makes me feel powerless. With all your magic? Don't you see? Whatever Elix is, something must have created it. Whatever my powers are, they aren't close to that. Whatever powers I have, that you have, we owe to Elix. Elix created us. And I don't know if it is serving us, or we are serving it. How can you not be afraid of that? That was great. <laughs> oh, that was incredible dialogue. That was like a callback to like the Liara interactions where she's like, oh my God, they're dead and they're never coming back. What a horrible thing has happened. I will now explain to you in cold methodical terms how the Asari reproduce. Shepard, I think I love you. And I'm like, what is happening? That's like, like this one was like, oh my God, the Elex, is it sentient? Is it controlling us? What's happening? You know, I think we get along really well. You wanna fuck sometime? Oh my God, the Elex, what does it mean? I wish I hadn't learned that. Oh no. I'm like, what? It even changed music to like happy, like, like romance music or of some kind uh, in the middle of this whole thing and then switched back out of it the moment that piece the conversation was over and none of it fit together and I'm like what is what is happening? I must have like I must have tripped like the dialogue Thing I, I must have tripped like some sort of reputation slider with that character and then we became like friends And it like and it just took precedence in the dialogue because literally my next response in the dialogue was was to continue freaking out about the Elex as if the whole weird romance conversation had never happened. And I'm like, what is happening? What is happening? I'm scared and confused and... Uh, I'm gonna go take a nap. It seems like a bunch of day might have passed at this point and I have unfilled meters that I might as well refill the easy way. I think we get along really well. I will now watch you sleep. This Thank you nice for place. watching me sleep. Goodbye. <laughs> I sprint away from her yet again. Oh yeah, I should dismiss her. You have to do that manually. Hey, have you thought what you'll do when all of this is over? No. I can understand that. I've had to fight my entire life. Always thinking about what's just in front of me. You can only survive on Magalan if you're strong enough. If you focus on the things that are dangerous to you. Yes. You have to choose your friends carefully. And not just for the sake of survival. It's your friends, your companions, who make all this make sense. They make it worth fighting for. So it seems for many people. And believing in someone. That makes you wonder... What will you be once all this is over? Will you still remain as close? I suppose that depends on the challenges that are to come. Yeah, but it's not all about the challenges, is it? Why? What else is there? You understand. Just listen to your feelings. We are right here for each other. For the future. I'm glad you see it that way. Yes, um, I... Listen, we should talk about it alone. Uninterrupted would be best. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, we should. When we met, I thought, well, I didn't know what to think of you. A chancer, someone else out for what they could get, but here we are. Yes, here we are. What's so special about here? It's not here, not physically here, it's where we are. Two of us, our feelings? Yes, we are closer than I thought we'd be. Don't worry, you're not doing too badly for an alb. You'll get there. Okay, you guys think this came completely out of nowhere too, right? Okay, she's standing on my bed. Uh, she's standing barefoot on my bed. 
That's just a weird sight. So you guys think this came out of nowhere too, right? Our whole interactions were basically like, Help me get to some Elex places. Okay. Help me get to more Elex places. Okay. I think we've gone really close. What? When? When? We've never even like... We basically haven't even had conversations about who we are as people or anything really. We just checked out some Elex places and suddenly we're like... Just into each other. Like I went along that with it because sure, work. why not? Let's just see what happens. But I'm totally sitting here like, what is going on? Are you supposed to be in a pose or something, like sitting on my bed or anything that looks more natural than just standing on top of it? You know that I love you, right? Yes. It's strange to say it, but an alb is the only person I know who can understand me. It's almost stranger than what we've learned about the Elix. Follow me. All right. You should go back to Origin. Okay. Is she gonna go sprinting out of my room now? Nope. Okay, now she's- at least she's sitting now. It looks less like she's insane. I guess she lives on my bed now, now that we, uh, love each other? Oh, she had a- she had a turkey leg in her- okay. She had- she had a turkey leg in her, uh, her pocket, and then she put it back in. Alright. <laughs> maybe I should- maybe the sudden love isn't the first thing I should be questioning about her behavior. <laughs> What in the world is happening? <laughs> that literally went from a completely platonic nonsense, just just a relationship where all we do is work together to try to figure out the Elex thing, to a little like, boom. S somebody snapped their fingers and now we're in love and, and she's in my room and she's eating turkey legs on my bed and I'm like, what? How did we get this familiar? How has this happened? Genuine, unmitigated confusion. Ah. Uh -huh. All right, I should go in this menu, then... Yeah, liquor. Oh yeah, I don't have any liquor. Let's buy like... I'll buy like... Uh, let's buy 40. Sure. Just stock up again for a bit. Might as well get some stuff cashed in while I'm here. Where are we right now, by the way? I've leveled again. Not bad. Stay safe in the wilderness. Don't have enough small elex, unfortunately. You have the liquor outnumbered the elex, as I hoped. Let's go drink this up. And then I'll check in with the other people around camp to see if they've got new quests for me, too. Eighty-five points! Don't actually have an immediate plan, just kind of stocking up because I know that everything's expensive. We'll see what I can make it to.